Hello everyone. Now today we take the opportunity to introduce uh, to you Dr. Arjun Chatterjee from Calcutta National Medical College and a proud Damsonian. He is in his third year MBBS. He gave USM in step one and he had a score of 259 in step one. And from the, on behalf of the entire Dams team, I wish him all the best and congratulate him for his excellent performance. And with me today, I have Dr. Mala Srinivasan, our chief USMLE mentor, and Arjun. So I thought we will use this opportunity to share some. Uh, uh, we wanted to, you know, kind of take it out from him what he did different from others, why, how he was able to get such a good score. And I thought if we can create a, a small discussion which would be of help to future students who are appearing for Step 1 USMLE. That is our intent. So I hand over to Dr. Mala. Firstly, Arjun, congratulations. I think it's a very high score and more importantly for a third year student to have this score. Awesome, so, awesome score. It's an awesome score. So, would you like to tell us a little bit about when did you start? I mean, did you start right in your second year or right from the first year itself you were interested? No, right from the first year I was interested but uh, I started mainly during, uh, say, my second year. Your second year. So, did you study anything in your first year also for USMLE at all? First year, first year I was acquainted to the different resources like mm -hmm. first aid, Kaplan videos, but uh, I didn't use them during first year particularly. Okay. So, what changed in your second year? How did uh, second second year I I was more focused about USMLE mm -hmm. the, to the college the college semester exam or the professional exams didn't play much role because they were going to test the same subjects as the as USMLE is going to test you. So what I basically did was, I was using the resources that uh, that normally people use uh, for their USMLE preparation and at the same time that helped me prepare for my college professional as well as semester examination and I did well. Good. Which subjects uh, do you think were most high yielding for step one? For step one, all the subjects are high yielding. There is no important subject, but definitely most of step one is based upon pathology if you don't understand pathology, you are going to miss 90% of the question. So, uh, pathology is the key? Yes. Understanding pathology is definitely Pathophysiology. Pathophysiology. Yes, good. Okay. And uh, what about, did you have any challenge at all to give it in your third year? Because a lot of students, I think, have this misconception, I should call it, that only as a clinician or once you finish your clinical postings, you can give your USMLE. So, did you face any challenge while studying for it or while giving the exam? What happened that during my first year, uh, I, I didn't have any proper guidance. What uh, what changed during second year is that I met Mala Srinivasan, Dr. Mala Srinivasan, as well as I came to DAMS and they they gave me the proper guidance, the proper motivation and I am absolutely proud to say that I am a DAMS owner. Great. So, so kind of. <laughs> I think he has done a lot of hard work and yes, 59 is the low no, no, It's not a good score at all, it's a very, very good score. But uh, the clinical part that I was saying, you uh, where did you get the maximum help out of it from your question solving ability the, in new world? Or? The thing is that we learn pathology in a, a particular, in a peculiar manner or pharmacology in a peculiar manner. In USMLE, they are going to ask that in a clinical basis, that is in everyday life situation. So I think the questions were interesting as well as uh, I found it. Uh, I found it. Mm, it's more, more stimulating to the mind. Yeah, yes. Where yes. You, instead of putting it like a fact, they put it like a Instead of asking there's the side effect of aspirin, you say bleeding, they are going to present a patient of myocardial infarction and then they are, they are not even going to mention aspirin because that is what is you what you give. And after that they are going, going to twist the story, they are going to put a clinical picture, the age of the patient, where he is coming from, if he is of Indian background or not, that points to leprosy, TB, etc. But I think that was like common general knowledge. I don't think they tested my special ability as a clinician or something like that. So do you think you should encourage students to start uh, studying for USMLE from the second year onwards at least and by the time they come to third year have an idea to give the USMLE just like you did? The earlier they start, it's better. Second, from second year, if they start during the third sem, even during the fifth sem, I think they can manage. Hard work is the key. Hard work is the key. Now, with, uh, now, the DAMS has a dedicated program for USMLE step one now. And in the last few years, we have seen the students who start earlier have uh, fared better than the people who do it later. And I think this has helped us to break the myth that is there that, you know, if you appear in the residency or after your after internship, internship, you are better. You, it's better to do it as early as, as possible. Early as possible. Another advantage is once you have your step one score, applying for electives and internship becomes a cakewalk for you because you have your step one score, they give you very good chances of doing your 
electives, yeah. which I think Arjun, what is your plan now? What do you think you will do uh, next? I, during my uh, during my internship, I think I am going to take a break of th three or four months maybe and apply to different institutes that are IMG friendly. With my step one score, it will definitely help. Absolutely. They, they want step one score nowadays with the yes. directives, so that, that helps. Any other advice in case you feel you have done something which you shouldn't have done, maybe the students can benefit out of it, anything that... Yeah, one must be focused, one must get rid of all distractions uh, that surround them. If they are, there are going to be people who will say that you won't be able to do it, this is too early, why are you taking, why are you bothering about giving this exam in third year, you are going to pass internship, but I think it's quite possible and with uh, sheer dedication and hard work, I was able to do it, I think you will be able to do it as well. Can you mention a few topics for them maybe that will be a bonus to the business uh, any, anything yeah, yeah. topics that will be yeah, so yeah. useful in this step one what step. happens is in Indian curriculum that many diseases are not focused which are much more uh, pro like, like, like uh, cystic uh, predominant in the yes. Scandinavian countries as well as the US in the whites basically so like cystic fibrosis tuberous scler sclerosis is, uh, is uh, happens over here but it's not, not focused and it's not as common uh, so Stars Weber syndrome. Most of the second year students have, they haven't even heard about That's this. Right. I see that they have a neurology focus, and in, in our pathology teaching, sometimes people miss the yes, neuropathology part. Neurology what, is very important. What happens is in neurology, they are going to present with CT scan, latest images. They are they are going to even ask experimental questions, which is a scan which you have never seen before. So this year, actually, we did a. Uh, Cross-sectional imaging session. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That helped me. Actually, that helped me before before giving my USM in step one. I have watched all of his videos on YouTube as well. Uh, he has taken a radiology class for our students as well, just for. Uh, we have added, added this. this yes. 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 So it was helpful, right? CT scan they ask, but they are doable, right? They, they are doable. They, they are definitely doable. If you know the basic anatomy, I think you will be able to answer that. Anything in pharmacology is something that. Indian graduates learn more about the minute details of it behind every drug. People try to list the side effects in maybe in ABCD manner or something like that. But what happens actually the most common side effect one should more focus more about that. While doing U World or while using first aid, first aid, I came to know about the more common common things that usually usually happens by using using these drugs. In addition to dance and Dr. Bala, do you feel that you want and first aid were good resources? You want and first aid were good resources. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that first aid, uh, first aid has basically two books: first aid for step one as well as first aid for integrated cases. Integrated cases is uh, usually overlooked by students because it's not that much of a famous book. Uh, but uh, but I did it. I did it in the last one, one month, and it was really helpful because it integrated all the very very important devices for future experience. So first aid integrated cases was pretty yeah. yeah. Anything else you would want to? Yeah, yeah, I would definitely. Is, is, is the length of the exam and giving the exam uh, stressful? How was your experience the night before? Or experience for the exam. <laughs> <laughs> So that was really challenging. I have been preparing for this exam for almost 2.5 years and uh, the night before I couldn't sleep. I went to sleep at 10 but I really couldn't sleep and I was... Uh, was it excitement about the exam? Yes, uh, <laughs> there, there was definitely excitement. Autonomic nervous system kicked in and I cleared like this. For the 8 hours it was definitely tiring but since I was mentally ready for that challenge... You I need mental toughness yes, to actually definitely. last through such a long exam. But if you have prepared well and if you have uh, that strong desire to do well, you you surpass it. Yes, but I, I would suggest to future aspirants that if they sleep the night before, yeah. Yeah. good night sleep, <laughs> <laughs> you sleep well. and eat well also, so, so that you get last. The, did lack of sleep lead to some silly mistakes? Yes, 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 definitely. I, I did four or five silly mistakes which I shouldn't have done, and my score would have been better. <laughs> so you have decided what is your branch you are looking for in US? No, or? right now I have not decided as of yet. I think internal medicine it will be but I am also looking at other choices like radiology, surgery. So probably with time to come by the time you write your step to you have would have a yes. more narrow down of this. Yes. This is correct as well. You have to give time to branches and branches. So on the behalf of the entire team of DAMS, we again Thank congratulate you. Arjun Chatterjee for getting 259 score in step 1 USMLE. We are proud of his achievement and we wish him all the best for his future. Thank you very much. Even better score. Thank all you. the best. Thank you. Thank you.